Hey, I'm Judy Goss, TV host, radio show host, and actress. And I, the five things I wish someone told me when I first started my TV hosting career were to be authentic, be real, be honest with yourself, be real, <laughs> and really know who you are and show people that authenticity. And I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but the thing is, is that to start an acting career, you really need to dig way deep inside. And this is probably nothing that you don't know, but you really need to know who you are to be able to transfer any type of emotion or copy that you're given to across to a camera, right? So this is basically who I am. I'm Judy Goss, and I don't pretend that I'm somebody else anymore, although it's kind of interesting because acting, you're given a role, you're assigned a role in acting, and, and you do have to, in a way, pretend you're someone else. But the essence of who you are comes out in that role. And a lot of times you're chosen for those roles because you are who you are. So I don't know if this makes sense, but those are the five things that I wish someone had told me, honestly, from the very beginning that I really kind of recently just figured it out. So I um, came from a modeling background, my high fashion modeling. I've done campaigns. I've lived all over the world. I've done campaigns from Armani to Nivea campaign, L'Oreal. I was on several mag fashion magazine covers and uh, fashion stories for Elle, Marie Claire. Um, oh my gosh, all over the world. Uh, commercials, advertising campaigns. Um, I once saw my campaign on the side of a bus in New York City. <laughs> so that was exciting. And um, I became, after that, I worked for an advertising agency. I became a magazine editor and a, um, I, I actually, that's when I started doing more and more TV hosting was when I was a magazine editor, started traveling all around the country doing segments. And that's actually when I started finding out that, you know, you really need to be yourself to be on camera, right? So one of the most, I guess, interesting stories that I've ever experienced in my acting TV career Actually, modeling was probably one of the most interesting stories that I, well, I was on the Cosby show, that was interesting, <laughs> but I won't give you details there. So I was left in Morocco um, at night on a modeling photo shoot after we were through because my, the client that I was working for got in a fight with my modeling agent. So that was kind of interesting. It was a villa outside the uh, city of Marrakesh and I was in the country with no one to really take care of me being a young girl and, and not having really any cash with me and my suitcase only and about an hour and a half away from from any given airport so that was kind of interesting um, to, to live through um, the most exciting project I'm working on at the moment is my radio show, What Women Want Talk Radio, we have over 10,000 listeners every show, every week. We've been on air for about three years. We've hit over a million downloads, so that's exciting. Um, I'm also a regular contributor on NBC and Fox, and really all across the country I get calls all the time to be on TV to do lifestyle segments. So that's what my whole brand is about. It's about lifestyle. Um, and it was exciting when I decided I wanted to uh, be a TV host or a red carpet host. I My first interview was with Laura Bush. Well, this is an interesting story. It was a private sit down with Laura Bush and she had about 15 Secret Service men all around us. It was probably about a few years ago, probably about six or so years ago. And, you know, it was interesting because I was in a private room with her by myself and I have twins, girls, and she has twin girls. So we spoke about that before the interview. And I, what was so interesting about it is that it was my first interview ever for, cam for the camera, for Better TV, actually. And I was a news correspondent for them for a while. And 
she was just an amazing soul when I spoke to her. I, I don't know if she knew it was my first <laughs> interview or not, but um, it went really well. So I was really, really happy. And I got to interview also Barbara Corcoran, Nora Ephron um, before she passed away. And well, obviously not after she passed away, but um, I got to interview DMC and just over the past several years, all kinds of interesting characters. So it's been really, really fun doing that. Um, I'm gonna answer the next question and think, what have I used my success to bring goodness to the world? Okay, so I am a huge advocate of women. I have a networking company also where women get together and they, the motto is connect, encourage, and inspire. And I infuse the networking company in with my TV segments and my radio show, What Women Want. So it's all about what we can do together and how we can elevate each other. And I've been doing that for about seven years as well. So it's been interesting how I've grown as a company and I've grown as a TV and radio show host also. And the person that I'd like to meet is Kathy Ireland. I just have so much respect for her from where she came from, the supermodel industry, obviously. She's a you know huge swimsuit model and her beautiful face and, and what an astute businesswoman she is now. And that she created a billion dollar company. And I would like to get her advice on how she infused her personal brand with her business. And, and you know, I know where she came from, something about she had a pair of socks that she was going from door to door, some idea about a pair of socks, and that's where she started her business and her brand. But I'm sure people didn't take her seriously at first. And I, I'm fascinated with how she's grown and how she's built her brand over the years. So that's it. You can find me on Instagram at judy.goss, J-U-D-Y dot goss. And you can basically Google my name and find me pretty much anywhere. I'm a serial uh, social media poster. But my website is judygoss.com. And I'm on Facebook, Twitter, all over the place. So reach out. would love to connect with you. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it.